Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, December 11th. I'm James Spann. Cold start, pretty decent afternoon today. A new surge of cold air tomorrow and rain as the weekend begins. So let's get near and take a look. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. It's still a cold pattern. We've got uh, broad troughing over the eastern two-thirds of the country and a new surge of cold air getting set to come down this way. But it's cold enough this morning. We're starting the day at Haleyville with 20 Coleman 23 and Fort Payne at 23. Coldest spot I could find at daybreak was Russellville up in Franklin County, and they were showing 19. Uh, Birmingham at 27. We'll expect a high in the mid-50s today, but we drop back into the 40s tomorrow afternoon as this new surge of cold air comes down the highway. It's down to about 20 below zero this morning up on the Canadian border. Strong north winds. In fact, uh, there's a wind chill warning in effect for parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin where uh, they're seeing some wind chill indices down to 50 below zero. And it's not even winter yet. You know, the solstice is still, what, a couple of weeks away. Winter weather advisories for Des Moines and Chicago and Grand Rapids. But most of the country is pretty quiet. Those counties in Arkansas, that is a freezing fog advisory. Fog that forms when temperatures are below 32. That can create a bit of uh, light icing. Here's the rain for the next five days. Of course, this is going to be the rain we have Saturday. This is valid through Monday morning of next week, and this is suggesting well, about a one-half to one inch here. So let's take a look at that. Modeling, this is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. You can see the energy coming down through the Great Lakes, pulling down the new surge of colder air. Down below that, the day should be sunny here. High should be in the middle 50s. Both models are at 56, but that's a 1,041 millibar high at Omaha with much colder air to the north. So tomorrow, thickness values come down. Highs will drop into the mid to upper 40s. And again, we'll start the day in the 20s. And this is Friday. Again, a cold morning with lows in the 20s. The high Friday afternoon should be in the middle 50s. Rain breaks out to the west. We'll see clouds increasing late Friday. And rain probably begins after midnight Friday night. And here's Saturday. Nice trough to the west supporting the Wet weather and down below that, surface low basically right on top of us with a nice batch of rain. Uh, no surface-based instability, no severe weather, maybe some thunder in spots, especially over South Alabama. We'll check the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model, exact same time, noon Saturday, a little faster. And I get the idea the the main window for the rain will be from about 3 a.m. until 3 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, for most of you, and it's not, not to say it's going to rain all 12 hours, but the good chance it will rain a pretty good chunk of those 12 hours. And again, rain amounts of about one half to one inch. Sunday, that rain is long gone. Our friends up in the northeast United States will be watching developments up there. Uh, this has the surface low pretty far east of Cape Cod. Other runs have had it closer in with snow for New York City and Boston. But our Sunday will be sunny and colder the high will probably drop into the upper 40s with a pretty good north wind. Monday should be sunny with a high in the 50s. Very similar weather Tuesday and Wednesday. Nice, quiet, tranquil weather. But again, we notice up in Canada that 1047 high coming down the pike. And again, we've seen evidence of another Arctic shot around Christmas. So let's see what this run does. This is De December 23rd. There's been good agreement in some rain right before Christmas for us, not snow. And on this run, no, the big high amplitude pattern is not there. And it comes and goes, but a number of runs have shown a big high amplitude pattern with a big Arctic blast, but not this one. Uh, if you believe this run, Christmas Day would be cool and dry with nothing exceptional. Then the day after Christmas, this is the end of the forecast on the 26th, we do start to turn colder. So, uh, I think uh, we'll probably see the models trending toward that cold solution. The pattern tends to favor that, and we'll just watch it in coming days. You know, once we get within seven days, we'll have some adequate skill 
in dealing with a specific Christmas forecast. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News and the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.